Kung meron kang jowa, <laughs> bakit gano'n no? <laughs> ba't lahat na yun ang hugot tungkol sa jowa? Wala naman akong jowa. <laughs> What's up, Ketchup? Yo, 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 mga kabayo, and welcome to Inai Thank You. It's the show where we learn life lessons from lessons about life. Anong pag-uusapan natin ngayon? I am going to recommend to all of you right now a bunch of science educational channels out there on YouTube that I personally subscribe to, especially during these very difficult times when you know, not everyone really gets to go to school. Parents out there, you have kids that, you know, are missing school because of the current pandemic. We're gonna have to teach them at some point. Or they're gonna be asking us a lot of these topics that they have in school more often. I think it's about time for us to sort of brush up on our science game and these channels will definitely help out. We're going to look into like the overall vibe or the style or the manner of delivery, duration of the videos. How long are they typically? The target audience and also the language that they use. In terms of target audience, I would say most of the content that they have and most of the words and the scientific jargon that are in these videos are better appreciated by at the very least high school students. I'm not saying that kids shouldn't be watching these videos because Kids these days are pretty smart too. If your kids are prodigies or child geniuses or whatnot, then go ahead, by all means, have them watch these videos. I'm not saying that they're not allowed to. I'm not saying that these videos are not age appropriate. I'm just saying that I personally think this is more suited to at least high school students and up. In terms of language, lahat English. So in terms of duration, they're about maiklinay three minutes, Mahaba na yung 15 minutes. Paminsan may 20 minutes pero mahaba na yun. Madalas naman ang mga nire-recommend ko. Nasa ganun lang haba. 15 minutes of your time is just... It's just you scrolling Facebook mindlessly. Whereas these channels could offer so much education in, in the same amount of time. Just a disclaimer, I am in no way being sponsored by any of these channels. I really just love them and I really want to spread the word. I really feel that right now, now that we're mostly on our phones, it's very important that we get our information from sources that have really done their homework. I'm pretty confident that these sites have done their homework. They have really done research, they consult with experts to make sure that they have interpreted whatever it is that they've researched correctly. I, I really want to put them out there and I want to commend them for doing such a wonderful job. So, wala pong ranking to ha. Hindi to yung top 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hindi po to Miss Universe. Hindi po to ganong klaseng pagalingan, pataasan ng ihi. Hindi po. Basta, naniniwala po kasi ako. I personally believe that we like our content delivered in a certain unique type of way. And that there is always a channel that suits you the best. So I'm just gonna like lay out a platter out here of these channels that you can choose from. It's up to you guys where you find that you understand the topics the most. I think that that's kind of what really should matter at the end of this. Yeah. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce these channels. SciShow, ang overall vibe niya, para siyang news channel. It's a broad range of anything about science, anything that you want to learn about. Basta science related. Talking head style siya. And then sometimes there would be snippets of like photos or videos or text somewhere along the sides of the screen. Paminsan din, it's like a full screen of photo or video or like a few sentences of what exactly the narrator is saying or what the host is saying is laid out in text. It's mas natututo ka pag nababasa mo yung bagay kaysa naririnig mo lang. And they talk really fast. <laughs> Kaya malaking bagay din na merong text. Na lumalabas yung mismo sinasabi nila in text. The good thing about SciShow is that they cite their sources. So you could always look at the original papers that they discussed or where they got their information. So yun yung maganda rin dun. At least you can always verify. If you want to read the articles yourself, go ahead, knock yourself out. In terms of target audience, for college students also, na medyo ayo nyo na magbasa ng journal article. What's that term? TLDR. Too long didn't read. This show is like a TLDR type of show. 
if you really don't, don't have time to read the actual research, at least you have a channel out there that sort of digests and understands and interprets the information as best and as accurately as they can. So that would be SciShow. TED-Ed, they come up with very short videos, again, about a broad range of topics, not just science. If you want to learn about mythology, history, architecture, philosophy, meron din yan for TED-Ed. Sometimes you just want to solve some riddles. The bottom line of it is all of these are educational, pampataba ng utak. TED-Ed is no exception in terms of duration. Again, pretty short, pretty sweet, very simple. In terms of animation style, it's very, very diverse. So, brang iba iba yung animation styles na mahagita ninyo. So, it's definitely something that you will enjoy. There's a particular style for everybody. So, that's what I also like about it. Next channel I would recommend is ASAP Science or ASAP Science. Their overall style is whiteboard animation. So, they're very good animators, so they draw stuff out, so and that's how they present their topic. So, it's really just very cute animation. And again, in terms of topics, it's a, a wide range of different science topics. It's a, just anything about science. I mean, it's in their title after all, a ASAP Science. What more can I say? It's just a few videos, ASAP. It doesn't make sense if it's ASAP and it's one hour long. Madaling itindihin, tas maganda yung animation. I think it's something that kids would also like be entertained to watch. But in terms of content, I would say that again, this is better for like high school and up. I'm not quite sure if they are sister channels, but I think they are. The type of animation that they use is like stick figure animation. So there's just a stick figure and then there's a lot of things going on in a white canvas. For Minute Earth, they focus more on ecology, life sciences, earth science, astronomy. But for Minute Physics, it's really physics. It's, it's just physics, hardcore physics concepts presented in just a very short few minutes. Hence, Minute Earth, Minute Physics. They really do a really good job of doing the research talking to experts, and their animation is really nice and cute. I would definitely recommend these channels. Stated clearly, maganda rin siya. It's not really like super animated, but illustrations are very nice, and they sort of like pan or sweep to the next illustration. So gano naman yung style niya. Very bold colors, very bold line art. So I love their um, art style. In terms of the topics that they cover, biology, chemistry, physics. So medyo marami si Lucky na cover na topics. The name of the channel is stated clearly and I, you know, props to them. It really is stated clearly. As in, malinaw talaga yung pagkaka-explain nila. If there are a lot of topics that I want to brush up on or a lot of concepts that I'd like to re-familiarize myself with, so stated clearly really does the job quite well for me. Oh my god, I hope I'm saying this correctly. Kurs. Kurs gesagt. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put the name somewhere. Para siyang videographic video infographic kind of vibe for me. They go with like very relevant topics about the environment, climate change, just anything science, anything that you'd like explained, astronomy, physics, just, you know, a lot of things, science. And a nice touch that they have on their videos is that whenever they have this very important statement or the, a statement that really needs a citation of some sort, Yung kailangan talaga banggitin mo kung sino yung nagsabi or sa ang research ng galing. There's always that small inset at the at the like low lower right of the screen where they say where the research comes from and then you can always just check the research. I'm not gonna say their name again because I, I really don't want to keep on butchering their name. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but I love your channel. PBS Digital Studios would be the ones that are responsible for shows like It's Okay to Be Smart, Deep Look, Crash Course, PBS Eons, PBS Nature. Lat po yan. <laughs> I'm subscribed to all of those channels. So It's Okay to Be Smart. So you have your host and then he's either gonna be like snapped into um, animation or there's gonna be something happening around him or it's just gonna be a talking head. 
and they discuss a lot of different topics from biology, natural sciences, earth sciences, physics, yeah. They have a lot of these things covered. I recommend that channel. Si Crash Course, ang kagandaan sa kanya is may sinusundan siyang syllabus. And I think they actually put it out which um, syllabus they follow. They highlight the most important topics for that course. So if you really want to brush up on like the whole course, there's an entire series for that where you really get to learn again from the very beginning all the way to the more complex topics that they're dealing with. Para siyang school, like condensed version of school. I wouldn't say it's a substitute because they also put out disclaimers that at some point you will have had to learn this in actual school and then you're just going to watch this to sort of review. If people are just looking for trivia, then I would personally recommend you try SciShow or Minute Earth, Minute Physics. Crash Course is really a bit more detailed. So this is perfect for college students, perfect for teachers as well. If you really wanna be able to just recall like the main highlight of what you wanna teach or you wanna teach a subject better, if you think that Hmm, maybe there's a better way for me to be able to present this topic. So it's also nice to watch how other people teach it para magkaroon ka rin ng idea kung paano mo rin siya ituturo. At baka nga yung approach nila mas maintindihan ng mga estudyante mo. So si Deep Look, okay rin to. Their style is really just full-on, close-up, in-depth video footage of whatever it is that you're talking about. They also have a lot of footage of what goes on underwater, <laughs> under the ground. Yung mga madalas na hindi natin nakikita o hindi natin napapansin, they have videos of the behavior, the anatomy, so that's what they sort of focus on. They're gonna be able to show that to you because of their very powerful cameras. And then they're able to talk about it, what it does, how it helps in the behavior of the organism. So it's getting to know an organism up close and personal. Buhay yung specimen, tapos zoom in, tapos makita mo. So yun yung kagandahan dun, na parang kita mo talaga dun mismo sa buhay na hayop na yun. Kung ano yung parte na yun, tapos itatag nila, ipipin nila. Ito po yung part na yun, kaya deep look. Kasi as in, it's like, malapitan talaga. The delivery was very light and they just have a few like snippets of okay it's this part right here and maybe that's the only technical term that they will discuss tapos the rest is just very very easy to understand narration so hindi siya information overload if you want to know more about animals ones that you never really see up close they're the ones that are able to bring you close you know really deep and i love it because i am an anatomy nut i love Learning about parts, I love learning about the function, structure, and function. So, gusto gusto ko tong channel na to. The term eon refers to geologic time. So, eon is one of the bigger chunks of geologic time. If we're talking about geologic time here, most of the topics of PBS eons would be dealing with history of the planet Earth. So, kung gusto ninyo talagang malaman kung ano yung mga nangyari noon, bago pa dumating ang tao sa balat ng lupa, ayan, ito ang magandang channel na panoorin. Dito nyo makikita kung ano yung mga itsura ng hayop noon, mga halaman noon, itsura ng mga isla, klima noon. Diyan natin yan makikita sa PBS Eons. Kasaysayan ng ating planeta. So you have a host, and then may visuals lang na lumalabas, paminsan may photos, this narration. So that's yung style. Nila. It's also appropriate for educators that want to be able to understand certain topics better so that they can teach it to their students better. So it's a crash course in that sense, but it's more specific. The videos here are more on the lengthier side because they really, because I mean, they're, they're talking about geologic time. <laughs> they're discussing a huge amount of time and cramming it into just 10 minutes of your life. So hey, kahit na mas mahaba siya dun sa mga 3-5 minute videos na madalas kong pinapanood, it's, it's so worth it. These channels pretty much started out on TV before they also took advantage of the YouTube space, right? And when we say they first started out on TV, then you definitely have National Geographic, Discovery, BBC Earth. They also have their equivalent YouTube channels. So, maganda rin panoorin nyo yung channels nila. 
Typically, what they present is as similar to their TV format documentary style. It's just this overlay of videos and the scenery and then there's just some narration. And sometimes what they do is they take snippets of their actual TV shows. It's sort of like a reference to you can watch the show on National Geographic or you can watch the show, watch the full episodes on Discovery Channel. So that's also kind of how they use their YouTube channel. Kay BBC Earth naman, bukod dun sa of course, One Planet, Blue Planet, Life series, there's like, come on, BBC Earth is like amazing. BBC hands down. And it's such a big bonus if it's narrated by Sir David Attenborough. For me, personally, Sir David Attenborough is like, <gasps> wow. I don't know how he does it. Nanilalapita na lang siya ng hayop ng ganun. And there's just something about the way that he speaks and the way that he narrates topics that just make it so much more engaging. Look at this pen. But all their other um, short YouTube videos are all the same, very good topics, very educational. Definitely not Geo, Discovery, BBC Earth, you can't go wrong with that. BBC Earth, <laughs> oh my god, rock on. Yan, sobra. Idol. Whew. Oh my god, ang dami nun, di ba? Ang daming channel, ang dami kong nirecommend. Kung may mga alam pa kayong channel, please lang, lagay natin sa comments. Put it down in the comments if there are any other channels that you'd like to share. Maganda kasing maintindihan natin yung mundo. And what better way to understand the world than through science? If you haven't watched that video, I can put it up here. Ito, personal opinions ko lang to. It's more of just us talking about science. Whereas these guys, if you really want to get really legit, unbiased scientific information, as far as I know, in my opinion, these are some of the channels that are really doing their very best to inform us very well here on YouTube. So kung matututo na lang din tayo through YouTube, I would recommend these channels. Definitely good solid content. For me, it's very relevant that in, in a world where information is very much available and very accessible, we need to make sure that the information that we have is actually well researched and very unbiased. There's one um, recent video that they made about how YouTube is also becoming a cesspool of misinformation. I'll put a link somewhere or I'll, I'll leave it somewhere in the screen. It would be a really big help if we do show our support, if we either like, subscribe, or just get the word out so that they get traction as a channel. So yun yung maganda yun, na natututo tayo and we kind of make sure that we're propagating or we are promoting channels that really try to be as unbiased and as scientific as possible. Tapos, pwede natin pag-usapan dito. Yun naman din yung approach ng channel ko. It's not so much focusing on the data, on the statistics, on the actual research, but it's more of, okay, now that we know this, what are we gonna do about it? How does that translate to our lives? How does that make us better people? How does that make our perspective of the planet, of the world, any different? Once again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Rumble B, and I hope to see you next time. And I thank you. A lot of people think that time or the whole concept of the planet Earth only began when humans came into the picture which is so self-centered. Uh, shit, yung sense of entitlement natin na this world is only here for us. Oh my God. Pagkakapal talaga ng mukha natin. Grabe. Pero hindi po. The Earth has been here for 4.5 billion years. More, even. Wala pa tayo noon. When, kailan na ba tayo lumabas? Like, How many thousands of years ago? Wala pa yun sa kalinkingan nung naging kasaysayan ng buong planeta. Maganda na may ganitong channel na napapakita niya kung ano yung mga naging itsura o kung ano yung pinagdaanan ng Earth noon. Doon natin siya makikilala ng mas maganda. Hindi. <laughs> Parang di ba, kung meron kang jowa, di ba paminsan naiintriga ka sino yung mga naging ex mo? Di ba? Saan ka pinanganak? Yan. Saan ka nanggaling? Ano yung buhay mo noon bago kita nakilala? Yan. Yan po yun. Yan ang PBS Eons. So, ganun din kay Planet Earth. Parang, sino ka ba bago ako dumating sa buhay mo? And I'm pretty sure ang sagot niya Mother Earth is, I was way better off without you, bitch. <laughs>